Hey everybody, Dr. Dane here, and I wanted to talk about this really interesting uh, looking apparatus. It's called an InBody 570, and it does something critical to your health. It measures something that will really determine your level of function and longevity. It's called bioimpedance. And bioimpedance is we're running a current through the body to test the tissues of the body, okay? So we wanna know how much fat versus muscle, we wanna know your hydration status. And how does this work? If you look, there's electrodes here in the feet and electrodes in the arm. And what you do is when you stand on this, not only does it get your weight and your BMI, but it's going to run a current through your left foot that's gonna travel through the left side of your body, through your left arm, then go through the opposite side, through your right arm, down the trunk and into the right leg and back into the computer. And by running this current through your body, we can tell some pretty cool things. First of all, we can tell muscle mass versus body fat, okay? The average man should have three times as much muscle on his body compared to body fat. Now, the last time I ran my in body, I had about 91 pounds of muscle and about 29 pounds of fat. And that's that three to one ratio that we're looking for, okay? An average woman should have two to one. So a woman, let's say, should have maybe 50 pounds of muscle and maybe 25 pounds of fat. That would be a good ratio. So the number one biomarker of aging, the mum, number one way we know somebody is aging and getting older is loss of muscle mass. And we can tell exactly how many pounds of muscle you have on your body and how many pounds of fat. So that's the first thing we like to look for. The second thing that we look for is where you're carrying that, what we call segmental fat. The worst place to carry fat in your body is where? Everybody knows it's in your belly, visceral fat. That visceral fat is pro-inflammatory. It's screwing up your hormones. It's producing estrogen. It's the worst type of fat because it leads to chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes and inflammatory diseases, even in your brain, right? So visceral fat is nasty stuff. And we can literally give you a visceral fat index from zero to 20. So it'll rate how much visceral fat you have. And the last thing that it does is measures hydration status. And you've heard of the term edema when things blow up. Well, edema is having a lot of extracellular fluid. A lot of fluid, if you think about your cells, you have a certain amount of water in your cells, a certain amount outside of the cell. So you want your cells to be like raisin or like grapes. A grape and a raisin is the same fruit, but the grape is filled with water and the raisin is dehydrated. You do not want dehydrated cells. You want them plump and juicy and full of water. And we can tell that by running a BIA in a person. So we can measure their extracellular fluid to the total body fluid. So how much total body water you have, how hydrated you are. But again, where is that water? Is it between the cells and making you swollen and more uh, prone to edema? Or is it inside your cells uh, where it should be, right? And it prints up a nice little report, guys, that we use. It will actually show you um, in the final analysis how much fat you need to lose and how much muscle you need to gain, your visceral fat level. It'll show you your weight, your skeletal muscle mass in pounds, your body fat in pounds, and then finally, this is your hydration status over here. This piece of equipment costs $10,000. That's how sophisticated it is. It is the number one tool that is used to measure body composition. We have it in our office. It's something that I believe everybody should know their status because it's a, a, a reflection of how long you're gonna live and how well you're gonna live. So this is Dr. Dane with your health tip of the week. Come get your BI done at Wellness Solution Centers.